Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? What is up, guys? This is Daddy Furious, and welcome back to a new video. Well, my KBK is starting in about two weeks or so, and I'm gonna try to push to 3 billion kill points using only T4 troops because as you may know I don't have T5 units unlocked yet so yeah that's gonna be quite a challenge for me at the moment I'm sitting on 2.2 billion which means I'm gonna need about 800 million ish to get there so yeah hopefully we can do that if it's not going to be a farming KBK like my last one because my opponents they went to get milk and didn't come back they literally ditched us in the middle of KBK, yeah that felt so bad imagine you marrying a rich sugar daddy and he ends up dying later and not giving you a single dime of his money so yeah hopefully that won't happen again and you know what i said while i'm here then let me talk about the best marches that you can use on the open field to get you a ton of kills and kill points and instantly turn you into an absolute killing machine in rise of kingdoms and keep in mind all the marchers that I'm gonna mention are being used by top players from the top tier kingdoms like 1960, 93, 1365 and so on. So don't worry because Daddy Furious has got you covered. Alright, so here's the plan. We're gonna start from infantry. I'm gonna name all the top meta marchers you can run on the open field. And then we're gonna jump to cavalry and at the very end we're gonna talk about archers. Alright, infantry pairing number one. It's Guan Yu with Skippy Prime. You can also pair Guan with Sargon and Alex the Great all the way back from KBK2. But keep in mind that the best pairs for Guan Yu is starting from the left side. So it means Scipio is the best for him, then it's Sargon, and at the very last, it's Alexander the Great. Infantry pairing number two. It's Skippy with Trajan, Honda Tarakatsu, Alex or Mehmet. And the reason I included a gold key commander is because his museum buff makes him super strong in Season of Conquest or as of now KBK3. Also again keep in mind that the best pairs for Skippy start from the left to the right. Now moving to Cav pairings, you should know that the options are not as limited as it was for infantry so you can be very versatile and use up to 4 marches on the open field. Alright pairing number 1. It's Nevsky paired with Juan Prime, William, or Monimoto all the way back from KVK1 with, of course, the museum buffs. But, of course, the best pair for Nevsky is Juan Prime. They are the best open field march inside the game as of right now. So, if you don't have Juan Prime, then we can move to other options like William and Minamoto. But honestly, I would encourage you guys to invest in her because she's just amazing. And if you guys can get her to 5115, or 5515, then she can be an absolute monster with Nevsky or the new Cav commander, Hyo Kyubing, which we are going to talk about on the next pairing. Cav pairing number two. It's Hyo Kyubing, or should I say XY Prime, paired with Juan Prime, William, Nevsky, or Mehmet. Obviously, again, the best pair for Hyo is Juan Prime, just like Nevsky, but honestly, Hyo Kyubing is like a commander that can be paired with literally anyone. However, the best pairing for him is gonna be. Juan Prime or William the First. All right, calf pairing number three. It's going to be XY with William or Nevsky or Mehmet. The best pairing here is obviously XY with William and XY Nevsky is more like a rally choice but also works on the open field. And XY with Mehmet is good as well because Mehmet has a very good museum buff which gives him 30% health bonus which is exactly what XY needs. And at last but not least, Cav pairing number 4. It is my boy Salah Heddin all the way back from KVK2 with of course the museum buff, paired with William or Atafled or Mehmet. And the best choice of pairing here is either with William or Atafled. And they both work as a great support march on the open field. And now moving to archers. Pairing number 1. It's Budika Prime paired with Zhuge Liang. At the moment, this is the best archer march inside the game, but if you don't have Zhuge yet, then you can do Budika Prime with YSG or with Artemisia. Although, I would very much encourage you guys to invest in Zhuge, because this guy is an absolute meta right now, and you don't want to miss out on easy kills, which he's going to get for you. And at last but not least, we have archer pairing number two and it's gonna be Zhuge Liang paired with Nebu or with YSG. This is in case if you want to run two archer marches on the open field. So you can do Budika Prime with YSG or with Artemisia and Zhuge Liang with Nebu. 
Also, be aware, if you pair Zhuge Liang with YSG, sure, it's strong and has a high damage, but it's super slow. So most likely you will get trapped on the field and lose your virginity to somebody else. So keep that in mind. And finally, if you want to run a support march slash leadership on the field, then you can do Trajan paired with Heraclius or with Atalfled. Alright guys, that is it for the best open field marchers as of right now inside the game. If you have any questions or suggestions and ideas for future videos, then make sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, my Discord link is written in the description of this video. And my Discord is where I'm giving all the updates, tips and tricks, um, bloopers from my content, short clips, memes, and all that goodies. So make sure you join to not miss out on anything. And if you enjoyed this video, then do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe to Daddy Furious. Take care, and I will see you in the next time. Ciao, ciao.